Hi girls! So happy 2012! I'm going to be doing my favorites, best of, whatever you want to call it, of 2011. Some of these are new products, some of these are not. Um, I kind of tried to go through all the different categories, except for skincare and hair care, because I haven't really found anything that I would say is an amazing standout product that I just couldn't possibly live without this year. Um, so yeah, that's why I kind of didn't really go into that. That and everybody's hair and skin is different, so what works for one person is going to totally be crap for someone else. So I will have a list of all the products on my blog, um, and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so if you see me looking down a lot, it's because I have this big, ginormous list of everything, and I want to make sure that I cover it all. So, I'm going to start off with brushes, and my favorite foundation brush, it has beaten out my previous natural whatever from Sephora, is the Real Techniques um, Stippling Brush. Now, um, the brush itself I absolutely love. I think it's phenomenal. Um, I can stipple on, I can blend out, I can do pretty much anything with this brush and I absolutely love it. My only qualm with it is like I'm already getting chipping at the base and the wording is rubbing off. So, that's it. But you know, I use this brush almost every day and I wash it almost every day. So, definitely, definitely worth it. Um, favorite contouring brush would have to be this high definition angled brush that I bought from Walmart. It's perfect, it blends, it gives me perfect lines, absolutely love it. Doesn't do too much, not too little, absolutely perfect. Uh, favorite eyeshadow brush, again, Real Techniques. This one is definitely holding up a lot better, so I love how it's kind of, you can use it to pat, you can use it to blend. It's kind of rounded and tapered, it gets right in the crease, but you can also lay it flat and blend out your crease. Perfect brush definitely worth it. My favorite blending brush is this Too Faced brush that I actually got for free from Ulta, yes, um, but I love it. It's just soft enough, just dense enough. It's kind of flat on top, so you don't get too much pressure. It's perfect. Alrighty, now I'm going to kind of go into primers, sort of. Um, first two products aren't necessarily I use as primers, but I do put them on before my foundation, so that's why they're going to count. And the first is the Professional from Benefit. I thought this was enormously priced for what it was, but I do not use this as a primer. I just use it as a pore filler kind of in my general nose area. So uh, along the sides of my nose and on my nose, it works perfectly, and you need so little of it, so it's definitely worth it. And the other one, I know this is new. I just reviewed this for my December, but I love it. It is a life changer, and it is the Urban Decay D-Slick. Spraying this on before, after your primer, but before your foundation makes it last probably four times longer. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, for primer, I couldn't really say this is a favorite. It's a current favorite, um, and it's the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I love it, and it does a good job, but would I say it's a holy grail that, you know, I couldn't live without? No, it's just honestly the best thing that I've found so far. So I do think I'm definitely going to be looking for another primer next year. Um, and eye primer. Any of the Urban Decays. I have all the little ones just because I never end up needing to buy a full-size one because I always end up buying a palette or some kind of little set or I get one free. Or So I've never actually had to buy a full one of these for myself. I have them for my kit. So these are awesome. I love all of them and I've never found one that doesn't work well. Okay, my favorite um, oh, powder is the Maybelline um, Shine Free Loose Powder that I reviewed a couple months ago. It leaves your skin velvet soft, um, doesn't look caked on, and awesome product. Um, don't know what else to say about it, it's awesome. Favorite bronzer or contour is the NYC Sunny um, Bronzer. And I don't really use bronzer to warm up my face, I just use it to contour, and I absolutely love this. It's the only one that I've found that doesn't look garish on, like, completely pale person skin. So, highlight, um, I, I kind of had to pick something. I love my Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing in Brighton. 
absolutely love this stuff, but it is a very powerful highlighter, so it's kind of only appropriate for nights out. I don't think I found one that I just absolutely adore for everyday kind of normal use, but I would definitely say I do love this, and I do think it's phenomenal. It is my favorite, even though I can only use it for like nights out and special events and things like that, because it will make you look overdone. Um, all right, I'm actually doing these a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. And blushes, I picked two blushes, um, kind of on the fall, winter, or warmer side of things. It would be the Ulta Infatuation. It's nice and warm. It looks darker in the pan than it goes on. It's kind of like a pink mixed with a bronzer almost, so it really warms up your skin. And for the lighter, kind of cool spring type look is my Maybelline Pressworthy Pink, which I'm sure is no surprise to anyone. I'm wearing it today, and it is just the perfect little girl flush Barbie pink. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm really disappointed it was a limited edition, but it is my absolute favorite and is my most reach for. Um, okay, mascara. My favorite mascara is the Maybelline The Falsies Black Drama which is funny because I didn't like the original The Falsies that much, but I absolutely love this. I'm wearing it today. I'm not wearing anything else. I'm not wearing lashes or anything, so it's pretty good, and if you have decent lashes to begin with, it will give you a false lash back, and you can layer it. Um, something I felt like I had to mention, especially because I've given it a bad review before, is the Too Faced Lash Injection. When I first got this, it was watery, it was goopy, it was clumpy, it was a mess, it was super shiny. Like, I really, really hated this stuff. I gave it another chance after it had been sitting in my drawer for a couple of weeks and kind of dried out a little bit, just a tiny little bit, and I have to say this is my most reached for mascara. It's a great mascara um, for people that still like fairly powerful lashes but not like overpowering during the day. Two coats of this and I'm good to go. And I don't know what to say. I hated it when I first got it, and now I reach for it almost every day. So, um, liquid liner would most definitely be the Physician's Formula Pen. What is it? The Eye Booster 2-in-1. I absolutely love this. It's what I have on today. I can get the most precise, super black, no budging lines with this. I absolutely adore this one. Um, gel is still my wet and wild. I've not found anything better than this. Mine's actually dried up. I have to go get a new one, um, or figure out how to revive this one, but for the $3, I'd rather just go get a new one. Um, it's great for doing cat eyeliner. It's great for smudging out your, um, lash line. It's great as a base. It's great on your waterline. It's just a phenomenal all-around product, so definitely love that. Um, for the waterline, I have to say that the Makeup Forever has definitely become my new favorite. I'm wearing it today. It lasts a really long time. It's really dark black. It's creamy, but it doesn't smudge like a lot of the other creamy ones. absolutely love this. But I still do have to say that my Rimmel Soft Coal is probably the one that I buy the most. This I got for free, so I don't know after this runs out if I would end up going and buying it again. But this I always go back to. So it's kind of a toss-up between cheap and accessible or having to go across town and pay 20 bucks. Um, my most worn eyeshadow is my Ulta Twilight. I absolutely love this color. It is a warm, taupey, gray, purple color. It encompasses pretty much every color that I could need. I use this like probably three four times a week as like a blending shade for my crease um, I absolutely love it if you pair it with purple eyeshadows more purple comes out if you pair it with neutrals it looks more toned down and neutral if you pair it with grays it looks like the perfect purple gray I absolutely love 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 this eyeshadow and it is probably one of those products that I would like go insane and die if I didn't have um, Desert Island this would be one of my go-to products so um, my favorite new color for eyeshadows has to be my Jessie's Girl Baby Blue Eye Dust, or Light Blue, or I don't know, whatever this one is. Like I said, the name was on the side, so I don't really remember anymore. This is, despite the fact that it looks super blue in the case, it's just the perfect eyeshadow to add a whole bunch of shimmer to any, any look. 
and it's another one of those where you know it's the blue is very muted in it so you can very easily like pair it with grays or purples or blues or greens and it will amplify whatever color you're wearing so I have to say this is definitely my new favorite color of the year um my uh, favorite palette now this is when we start getting into bunches of things because I couldn't really pick um oh and I missed the whole section earlier I'll go back and do that <laughs> and put your stuff sit here and I was confused why. Um, okay, so my favorite palettes are going to be my e.l.f. 100 palette. This is the original 100 palette. I love this anytime I'm having a hard time or I have need a shade that's in between two shades or, you know, it just, it has everything and I use this a lot. If you've been watching my tutorials all year, you know I use this a lot. So I really, really love this. It's one of the only palettes that actually stays up on my vanity and doesn't get put away. Um, I would say my favorite palette though as far as something new, not like what is most useful, which is the e.l.f., is the Sleek Spoiled Brat palette. So I just, I wear a lot of dark colors and this has every dark color that I could want and it goes with everything. They blend out beautifully. They're like highly, highly, amazingly pigmented. Um, the color selection is beautiful. The colors they picked is be are just amazingly beautiful. And I have to say, this is my favorite palette. So, um, my most warm palette is a toss-up. My probably most warm palette is going to be the Elf Party palette, which is this little one with the super sparkly white, gray, and black, and then the accenting purples, um, kind of silvery gray, and baby blue. I wear this a whole lot, um, and I really, really love this palette. As far as my most warm palette for the palette itself, because I pair this with a lot of other eyeshadows, I don't wear it by itself, is the Spoiled Brat from e.l.f. This is my go-to palette if I find out about a party late, or if I'm running late to go to the club, or something that I need, something that I know is going to have a high impact with minimal time and minimal effort, I use this. And I'm definitely going to be doing a tutorial using this um, here in the coming weeks. I'm not entirely sure when, but here soon. I just, I absolutely love this palette and I grab for it all the time and this is all I need pretty much to do an entire look. So I love it. Alright, lipstick. Obviously my favorite lipstick brand this year has been CoverGirl. Um, their little, whatever ones these are, are phenomenal. I have a whole ton of them. Um, as far as my most worn color, is going to be spellbound. It's a bright pink that's on the deeper end so it doesn't look like totally overpowering. Um, for me, I'd much rather go with a darker lip than like more of a nude lip. I think more of a nude lip ends up being more attention getting than a dark pink lip. And I have to say, it's I wear it constantly. It goes with classy looks, it goes with grungy looks, it goes with party looks, it goes with everything. So absolutely love this. Um, my favorite new color is Divine. It's because I'm super pale. I don't want to look gothy all the time. But, you know, sometimes a girl wants to wear purple lipstick, you know? This lipstick is so perfect because it has a very good violet undertone, but it's still pink-based, so it's still very wearable. So it is a wearable purple lipstick for pasty pale girls. And it's awesome. I love it. Um, alrighty. And then... Lip gloss, I've tried a lot of lip glosses. I'm not a big lip gloss wearer, to be honest. I don't know why I buy a lot of them, but I don't wear them very often. And there was none as far as color or texture or formula or anything that I could say stood out to where I should say that they are a favorite of mine. So, I don't know. I like quite a few, but not enough that I felt I should include them in here. Um, My favorite lashes are these... Forever 21 number 150. I wear these constantly. I absolutely love them. This is this I think is like my sixth pair of these. So they're dramatic, but they don't look like overly dramatic or like you're trying too hard. Um, for my eye shape and the way I do my makeup, 
they add just enough to add to the look, not be the focus of the look. And I absolutely love them. Unfortunately, it's becoming harder and harder to find them, so I don't know what is going on with that. But I do love them. They are definitely my favorites. Um, and then nail polish. My absolute favorite nail polish, and I'm wearing it today, is the Lilac Chantilly from the Diamond Strength that I bought. I love this color. I think it goes year-round. It's like wearing silver or gray, but better. And I just I absolutely adore it, and I think it goes with everything. And it kind of matches my hair now. All right, I skipped a whole section on here. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but I'm going to go way back to face products. Um, for some reason, it got all messed up. I'm sorry. Um, my favorite foundation. This is going to sound really, really confusing. I mixed three different foundations. I've had all of them for a while now, and I like them on their own, but I didn't think that, the, you know, they were they just weren't quite right on their own. Um... I started kind of mixing different ones, trying to figure out kind of what I liked, and I have found my absolute favorite Holy Grail foundation routine, and it sounds complicated, but it's really not. So I use the Dream Liquid Mousse. I use one pump of this. Um, the Revlon Color Stay um, in combination oily skin. I probably use, if it had a pump, it would probably be about half a pump of this and the Revlon Photo Ready, and I use about a third to a half a pump of this. I love the way this foundation routine comes out. It lasts all day, it glides on easily, it covers amazingly, it gives a slight bit of glow, but without looking, you know, oily or shiny or glittery or anything like that. So this little trio is my absolute holy grail. It has beaten out all my high-end foundations, my Makeup Forever, both my Matte Velvet and my HD. It has beaten out those. It is a phenomenal thing, and I definitely think that the extra, like, probably 30 seconds it takes me to mix them is most definitely worth it, and it does make a huge difference in the way my face looks. So, um, And it looks great on camera, in pictures, in person. It just, it looks phenomenal, and I love it. Um, my under eye concealer is definitely my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Corrector. Um, I have extremely dark circles, like somebody, it looks like I have black eyes. I have such dark circles, and this covers them up very well. Um, I can layer it on fairly thick with a concealer brush if I want to look picture perfect. If I want to cover it up 90, 80 five to ninety percent just rubbing it on with my finger still looks amazing and still is a huge huge improvement so actually I'm almost to the point I need to go buy another one of these I absolutely love love this under eye concealer and I've never said that about any other eye under eye concealer I've liked them I've thought they were great but there wasn't one that I felt covered it to the point that I was satisfied and this does and I'm very picky about my under eye area <laughs> Um, and then my other kind of concealer, I don't know really what to describe it as, just general purpose concealer. I have to say my favorite is the Dream Mousse Concealer. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. This was the perfect concealer. I loved it. It was dry. didn't move around a lot. It didn't smear. So it was great Like if you made a mistake on your eyeliner or something to just drip a brush in this and fix it really quick and it was very simple, it didn't smear the rest of your makeup, didn't mess it up. This was phenomenal, so I know you can still get it on eBay a little bit. I don't know, maybe if we all rally we can get them to bring it back. I absolutely love it, it's my favorite. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, so I felt I had to pick something else, and it would be the Glamouflage from Hard Candy. Now, I tried a couple of other ones, and I loved them, and they were great, but this, for the price, for how much you get, it is so concentrated and so incredibly pigmented that you can't go wrong. Um, it does budge around a little bit if you don't set it really well with powder, and that's my only complaint about it. But other than that, I think this is phenomenal, and you need the teeniest, 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 teeniest bit of this. Like a pin drop size to cover like around the sides of your nose and like a blemish or two. Like 
teeniest amount of this, so it will last you forever, and it's like five dollars. Whereas other ones I tried, you needed more of them, they were great, they were silky, they covered well, but they just, they were more expensive, and you didn't get nearly as much, so I definitely have to get up for this. So I'm sorry we kind of went out of order there, I don't know how I had my list and didn't help all that much. So I hope everybody has a great 2012. Hopefully we have some great new products coming out. I'm really excited. I've seen a lot of new drugstore stuff coming out that I'm really excited to get my hands on. I'm just trying to kind of pull back the reins on my beauty spending. So I'm waiting for more reviews to come out on some of the newer stuff before I go ahead and try it. And yeah, if you have anything that you've heard about that you think is really cool, or if you've tried any of the new stuff that's coming out and you have a rave or a disappointment, definitely comment down below and let me know. And I'll see you girls next time. Have a great night.